All right, I just wanted to show real quick. Um, I've already almost got it out. As you see, it's, uh, the race is starting to uh, crest a little bit. But I, this is just a driver. It just has a handle with a little shank that goes in here. You know, we just bought this at whatever, maybe Harbor Freight or something years ago. But it just has this. I'm sure a machinist could possibly make something like this if you had some stock around. But, you know, for the time it is, for how much they probably cost, it's not that worth it. But it's got a handle in there, and I just put a piece of tubing to reach through it. Just this is whatever. It doesn't have the end on it, but I'm just kind of pushing up against the basically the back of this and just stabilizing the the handle, and it's uh, tapping out. So I'll have that one out, then I can push the other one out and start. Uh, I got to get a bearing separator because I got to get this this off. I need this piece right here, and get this inner race off of here. I've already pulled it off. Did I pull this off once? I don't know. Maybe I didn't. Yeah, yeah, I did. I'm pretty sure I did. I know I used the bearing separator I have for something. And so I, I gotta, I'm gonna have to probably push it on this now. Well, I don't know. This is kind of sacrificial. I'll probably, maybe can get it on here. That's a little, really small. But anyways, I'm gonna finish that up and, uh, and, uh, I'll pull, pop that out and show it to you in a second here. Okay, here we go. I got that tapped out. There's the, there's the tool. There's the, outer race it just fits in there all right and I haven't done the other yet but uh, when you get to that last little bit it's probably better if you have somebody to do this or if you cover stuff so it don't go flying I try to catch it and it, <laughs> it didn't do very good but uh, so I'm gonna get this one out and and I'll work on the other thing so I got the I got the spindle out and I'm working on getting the bearings out Here's the, it's actually how they, there you go. There's just that piece, and then this, and you got your, your carrier, I think is basically what they call this, a, a shell or whatever. It's just sort of pressed on there, where, uh, around it, and it holds the roller bearings in here. Just these, you know, just those little guys. They're just like that. That's a. It's a tapered roller bearing, but uh, that's certainly one of the other reasons why I got this lathe also. Instead of having regular bearings, because I figured to the loading, if you have the two tapered bearings, they're sort of self-centered. Uh, I've done plenty of stuff like this. I'm trying to be a little bit more cautious. I don't know as far as how much it affects it this way, because I've never done this this way on, say, a lathe where you're trying to have... You know, no slop in it and everything's, you know, compressed in properly, but not, you know, so overdone so that you're getting good accuracy, lathe cuts and stuff like that, where it's not as big of a deal if you're trying to put it like in the rear end of a, of a truck axle or something, you just pop them in there and you, you know, it's a little bit different. I mean, yeah, if you're doing like the pinion, it's a little bit different, but, uh, you know, you just kind of put it in there and drive it in at the impact and, you know, the crush sleeves and stuff and, and I don't know how much it affects it. I'm trying to be a little bit more cautious, but uh, that's where I'm at. So I just uh, figured somebody else might want to watch this out there and maybe learn from it.